What's going on everyone? It's Abdali here back again with another exciting episode of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Welcome to day eight. Man, it's been a while. It's been quite some time. We've been uh, hanging out together every single day and it's been super cool. So thanks to all of you guys that are watching live. Thanks to all of you guys that are watching post. And again, shout out to my friends over at Google Play for providing us with a very awesome and generous gift card giveaway in case you guys haven't seen it. Uh, we're giving away five $50 gift cards uh, for Google Play. You guys can use them for Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, Fire Emblem Heroes, Mario Run, Pokemon Go, whatever you want to use it for on Google Play, you can absolutely use it. They've redesigned their gift card and they're giving away five of them to us. It's super cool. So shout out to my friends over at the Google Play Guild. All right, so today's episode, we got a lot to do. We got loans, we got candy canes. There's a lot happening. And of course, I do want to say shout outs to all of these sponsors that have come on board. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for joining the family. Sponsors get a whole bunch of stuff and we got lots of incentives such as automatically getting added into the friend code list. You have access to the Abdali emoji. And of course, you have uh, exclusive access to the brand new sponsor only $50 gift card giveaway. So there's a whole bunch of stuff. Check out the links in the description below. Become a sponsor today. A little pop up happens. We do a little bit of a Bob dance. Super fun stuff. All right, so uh, today, let's jump in. Um, I, I wanna do something with all the bells that uh, we've been collecting. A lot of you guys have been buying my market box stuff, which is pretty cool and generous, so I wanted to give uh, shout outs to each and every one of you guys, whoever, uh, whoever does that, that's awesome. Like I just list the stuff and you guys buy it and it works out wonderfully. So yeah, here we go. So in case you guys have not seen the previous episode, go check it out. We're doing a lot of grinding for candy canes. Candy canes are a limited resource right now, or sorry, a limited material that you get uh, simply by doing quests. And um, what happened off screen is we have access to a really cool dude and I'm really gonna grind for this guy. Uh, you would think it'd be Kid Cat, right? Like everyone loves Kid Cat. Oh man, my favorite animal in Animal Crossing is Kid Cat, Abdallah. I'm, yes, I know that. Right? But here, now check this guy. This guy named Hopkins. Look at this guy. Okay, hold on. I'll, I'll explain myself. Here we go. Hopkins, my man. Hopkins. All right, so I'm working on Hopkins right now. Boom, right here. Are you kidding me? A giant Game Boy? Is he the one of the only characters in the game that level 15 gives you something really epic like this? Dude, we're so gonna grind this guy to level 15. It's not even funny. I'm gonna spend all my request calls and all that crazy stuff. It's gonna be so cool. A giant Game Boy, are you kidding? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I would love to just have that in my uh, in my little camper there. All right, so uh, what we've been doing on every single one of these episodes uh, is been interacting. That's the beauty of this entire live stream is that, you know what, we're doing it live. Uh, let me see right here. We're doing it live. All of you cool party people are here. It's interactive. We get to say hello, we get to chat. But of course, some of you guys can't make it live and that's that's perfectly fine. The fact that you guys are watching it post is really cool. So every single day I ask you guys a question. Uh, what is your favorite camper design was the question that I asked you now. Uh, so that's our comment question today. Answer that question in the comment section below to be entered into one of the, one of the five awesome giveaways. So here we go. Let's actually jump in. Uh, let's uh, jump into the previous uh, video and see what's going on. In episode seven, I asked you guys, what do you guys feel about the holiday event? And of course I gave you all the information. I laid it out for you. You need 800 or so uh, of the candy canes in order to get one of everything. The candy canes are kind of scarce. They're not guaranteed every time you do a resource. Let me know what you guys think of it. And so let's go over here. Let's highlight some of the published comments that we have on board. Uh, okay, so Matthew Fireick says, you think the event is very cool and fun? Yes, it is. I agree with you. That's our sponsor too, Matthew. Uh, okay, what do we got? So Irvin, I think that's how you pronounce it. I really like the holiday event. It's really entertaining, but it takes a lot of time to collect candy canes and you need a lot of them to collect all the holiday event items since uh, you need, I think, 300 candy canes for three individual items. Yeah, that, that is crazy. You are absolutely right. Uh, what emoji do I feel about that one? I think I feel this emoji, like the crazy eyeballs emoji. All right, how about this one? Uh, Chelsea says, uh, I think the holiday event is good. Kind of hard getting candy canes, but if you play enough, you can get them for special items. I played other events on other games that feel really unfair, and this one isn't one of them. I do hope that they add snow to the camps, though. I heard snow is coming, though, so don't worry. That's a good question. Uh, good luck on getting those candy canes. Uh, okay, I think the holiday event is awesome because you're able to buy Jingle Furniture Set and you can get the Santa costume. Yeah, I agree with that. Good job. 
Here we go, smiley face for that one. <laughs> Let's review some comments on the previous episode. Uh, selling a tuna, all right. Oh, I saw this one. Uh, Leone here says McDonald's in Netherlands has Yokai Watch Christmas toys? What? Any of you guys in Yokai Watch, I mean, <laughs> any of you guys in the Netherlands that have access to a McDonald's and want to send me a package for Christmas with every single one of the uh, toys in McDonald's uh, Netherlands, Please, that would totally make my day. I'll make a separate unboxing video for it. It's gonna be so much fun. Uh, Sonic Tonic, uh, you're always fun to watch, but this was a especially fun episode, even watching post-stream. You're kind of hyper and hilarious. Salt Lake City, <laughs> you totally got me into laugh pretty hard. Uh, thanks for that. As for the question today, I love the holiday items, though, if I'm being totally honest, the hundreds of candy canes needed to collect all of it. Uh, pretty daunting, yeah, very daunting, I agree. Here's a hug emoji, thanks, dude. Uh, I got all the Christmas items. What? Adam Robinson? Dang! I have five left to complete the, uh, Christmas event. Started about four days ago, now level 20. Got a lot to do with the items. Yep, totally, dude. That's crazy. Awesome, man. Alright, so I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, uh, highlight all the comments that you guys do it. So, once this video uploads, I want you guys to answer the comment question today, which is, what is your favorite camper design and why? Do you like the blue stripes? Do you like the double tier, the double decker? What do you guys like? Let's go talk to Beppe, right? Alright, so speaking of camper, uh, what we need to do right now, I guess, is take a look at who's buying my stuff. Hey, we got some other Santa hats over here. So we got Aaron buying my five coconuts. That's right, you can carve them into whatever you want. And some coral. See, I was like running out of cool stuff to put in my boxes, so I'm just like, all right, what do I have the most of? All right, so thanks, Lynn. Uh, and of course, thank you, Martin, again, for buying my little green fish. Okay, so what are we doing? We got a lot of things to do today and not too much time to do it, so I don't really want to waste any time. We have to do our rounds. We have to do an unveiling. Let's do the unveiling first. I think that would be pretty cool. So let's go to the campsite. I have to make sure that we do the trick of only having the certain people on board. Now, what did I level up over here? Is this the natural one that's in construction? Oh, dude, I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is the natural one that's under construction. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is kick out all the people that are not natural. So Punchy is natural. Yeah, Punchy, Punchy's natural. Rosie's cute. We're gonna send her home. Lily's cute. We're gonna send her home. No, 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 no. Never mind, never mind. I'm gonna go talk to everyone first. Let's talk to everyone, right? And then maybe we'll get a free refill. <laughs> I don't know if I've confirmed that or not. All right, so here's Bunny. Oh, I was gonna tell you a joke about Bunny, all right? Bunny and her favorite vacation destination. That was the joke of today. I'll tell you at the very end of the episode. You have to remind me. So stick around. So the, the joke of today is, where is Bunny's favorite vacation destination? <laughs> and no, it's not Salt Lake City, all right? It's not Salt Lake City. This is a very good one. All right, so here we go. Filbert, thank you so much. Ooh, look at that beautiful level up to nine on Filbert, man. He's good. Give me, ooh, sparkle stones. Yes. No need sparkle stones, man. Not yet, at least. All right, so we're gonna go talk to peeps. Uh, let's hello. Let's say hello. Hey, Rosie. You kind of got kicked to the curve. She got, she totally got roasted. <laughs> she got roasted since the beginning of the game. She's like one of those uh, characters that you're like, oh, sweet. I'm gonna make Rosie to max level. And then you get some other characters, and you're like, ah, sorry, Rosie. Thank you for the day's tea, though. That's pretty great. Sparkle stones. Hey, we're in. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Rosie. All right, so how many guys are going to be predicting what the answer... Look, I don't like this, though. Like, I'm, t I'm clearly clicking on bow. But that big table's in the way, so I'm unable to do so. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. All right, what's his, what did I call this guy? Bucky. I call him Bucky. <laughs> hey, I got Bucky's shirt. Sparkle stones, excellent. Dude, that's pretty cool. We got him maxed out. Well, I don't know if he's maxed out, but here we go. Okay, what's up, Salt Lick? No, I should be asking you what's up, Salt Lick City. That's Bo's official name now. <laughs> it's just all of you guys that are playing. You cannot play and look at Bo the same way again. You're gonna be like, oh, dude, remember, 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 remember when Abdallah said Salt Lake City? Yeah, that was hilarious. And so you're gonna start calling him Salt Lake City. It's just what it is. <laughs> I, can, I can imagine, like, let's design a t-shirt of Bo and, like, Salt Lake City on it. 
Raise your hand in the comments if you'd buy that shirt. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, let me know. All right, here we go. Let's talk. Goldie. Thank you for the 100 bells, Goldie, and the one up. Excellent. Goldie. And you know what I really like? And I mentioned it before too. Like I really like about this game is that you can absolutely play it with one hand. And you don't need two hands to do it. It's just one with your thumb, just kind of clicking and dragging and going from there. I think that's really cool. Because sometimes like when I'm uh, eating breakfast in the morning, I'll be, uh... <laughs> here, let's look at this. All right, here we go. Boom. So all you guys on board totally would do it. Totally do it. Yes, absolutely. Totally buy that shirt with uh, <laughs> Salt Lake City, baby. All right, I'm holding you to it. If I ever run a campaign about that with uh, someone designing a Salt Lake City uh, shirt. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. That is our 100th candy cane, believe it or not. We're going to go buy something now. I'm holding you guys to it. I have screen cap proof that you said you would buy one. So when I unveil the new shirt in the shop for Salt Lake City... <laughs> I'm counting on you guys. No, I'm kidding. Um, okay, here we go. Let's do a little bit of this first. Let's not waste our time. We got 100 candy canes. Let's craft our next thing, which is going to be the festive bow tree. Don't call it a Christmas tree. Got to stay uh, politically correct. Not everyone celebrates Christmas. All right, so this is going to take 30 minutes. And 100 of our candy canes. And what's cool about this one, though, is if you craft it, one of these stretch goals is going to be uh, giving you 80 of the coins back. Or sorry, 80 of the tickets back. Okay, so we've talked to everyone. Let's kick everyone out. Rosie, you get to go home. Goodbye. Lily, you get to go home. Goodbye. Bunny, you can go to your favorite vacation uh, destination. And we have our five uh, naturalists. So we got Filbert, natural. You can see that. We've got Eloise, natural. You've got Goldie, who's also natural. You've got Punchy. And uh, you've got uh, Salt Lake City over here. All right. So I think we're good. We're going to confirm it. And then let's do the unveiling. Let's get some massive, um, like, level ups and go from there. Okay. So I think we're here. Let's just double check. We've got just our five people. Uh, you can see their levels, too. Like, Punchy's at zero. Filbert's at zero. Eloise, Goldie, and Bo. We might get two level ups off of this. So here we go. We're going to do the unveiling right now. It's complete. Let's host a party with five people. And uh, let's, uh, let's have a good time with it. All right. The grand unveiling. The level three amenity. All right. Let's get started. Here we go. Hey, it's the natural camper. Whoa, you can go inside it and lay down in a bed. And there's a book on the side. All right, so one, two, three, four people here. Now you can craft a picnic set. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so what other, what was the point of doing this other than leveling up people? Hey, whoa, see, we got two level ups. And then Filbert, Punchy, and Eloise are like right there. They got really good level ups. Okay, so we got 200 bells, natural essence from Bo. And we got Goldie over here. We got sparkle stones. Hey, that's pretty good. Pretty rare material. Got a little bit of level up. I don't know if we're going to get to level 26 on this episode. But we got the brand new amenity. Let's, uh, before we go talk to all of our people, let's go say hi and, and, and see what this is. So if you look very closely, we have like coffee and cookies, yarn balls for, um, I guess if you want to knit, <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty natural though. Knitting's natural and so is eating, eating cookies and coffee. And I guess reading a book and a lantern too. Does the lantern turn on? I, I wouldn't think it would. No, it definitely does not turn on. That's a missed opportunity, but that's okay. You know what? Uh, we got it. That's our first level three. And you know what I need to do now? We need to craft another amenity. I need to do the level one uh, of the sporty one. Does the sporty one? Yeah, we have to do it. So I'm going to order that. And we're going to do it. So next episode, we're going to do the unveiling of the sporty one. And the reason why I'm doing sporty right now is because I want Hopper. I want Hopper to be on board. I want Hopper to be on board so we can get him to level 15 or whatever level that is and then get the giant Game Boy. I think that would be excellent. 
That would be very cool. Very, very cool. Anyway, so what do you guys think? Pretty fun, yeah. Our first uh, our first big amenity, level three. We've been kind of spreading it thin. We could have had that big one uh, way earlier if we wanted to. So uh, let's take a look. Uh, we're gonna do this. Oh yeah, that's right. We got some Shovel Strike Quarry, right? That's where we get to interact live on a YouTube audience and we get to earn some of these. So shout outs to 19 people who heeded my call. Uh, and here's the thing too. So not only do you have one opportunity to get candy canes, simply by doing the Shovel Strike Quarry, asking all your friends for help, right? Not only do you get that one, but when you're done, you can absolutely use 20 leaf tickets on top of that to get even more. And I highly recommend doing it. What else are you using your leaf tickets for? Come on now. All right, so let's do it. I'm gonna pick five numbers. Five numbers. And I want you guys to tell me, what number shall we do? Uh, let me see how many squares I can get on one screen to make this as interactive as possible. Okay, let's see. We got four on this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Six. All right, hold on. I think we get seven. I think we get seven on board. Come on, scoot over a little bit. Uh, okay, so this one in the bottom right corner, that counts as one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven on the side, okay? You guys see that? Watch. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then little baby seven right over here. So give me some numbers, hook me up, and hopefully you can win. If you give me a sapphire or an emerald or whatever, I think you guys are telling me from, from what you guys are saying, that's the most expensive one. So let's take a look. All right, so who's on board? We got some people here. Hey, thanks for coming, everyone. Uh, how about we do this? I'm gonna pick all these numbers and maybe I should type them down, yeah? Let's do my little notepad here. All right, so uh, why don't we do this? We're gonna do Sarah wants four, okay? Sarah wants four, we got uh, Sarah and Anita both want four. Sonic Tonic wants seven, and a lot of other of these people. Uh, what do you got? Abby, Wendy, Asagar Kumar, Marita wants seven. Okay, seven's pretty popular. Let's do uh, Thea Games wants six, that's very nice. Uh, let's also do Mr. Blue wants five, and we got one more. Uh, let's see, hmm, okay, how about, I did four, seven, six, five. Jody, Jody wants a three, all right, cool. All right, so four, seven, six, five, three. That's exactly what we're doing. So let's do one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay, so really one and two, one and two don't get picked. So we're gonna hit all of them. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen, this is number three. Silver, lame, oh, that's not good. Three, uh, I think this is um, four, this one's number four. Ah, oh, another lame one, no. Give me some sapphire, oh, gold's okay. Here we go. Gold, and the last one, whoever said number seven, right here. Oh, well, you know what, that's cool, you know what? We got three gold, two silver, we haven't seen sapphire in quite some time, so that's cool. Now, how many candy canes? All right, let's guess, all in the comments right now. What do you guys think we're gonna get with candy canes today? And I need you guys to count too, like we need to count how many candy canes. Did we get one candy cane today already? We need a candy cane counter, who's gonna be the person? Let me know. All right, here we go, guess your reward of 30 candy canes. Hey, that's pretty good. Jennifer said 26, let's see these uh, predictions. All right, so 7, 26, 18, 17, 26, 26, 26, 47, you crazy? 31, that was actually really close. Lynette, 27, 22, 26, and then everyone on board is just gonna say 30, watch. And before everyone's saying 30, watch. <laughs> 30, 30, I guess 30. No, I'm kidding. All right, good job. Oh, uh, well this has been more than satisfactory. Okay, that was pretty fun. Uh, it was. That's a lot of candy canes. We're gonna be fine with that. I'm great. Shovel Strike Core, if we wanna get every single one of these things, we're gonna need to spend some tickets too. So here we go. I highly suggest if you wanna get every single one of these. Oh man, hold on. You can use it later though. That's what I did last that's what I did last night. Did you change something, game? Okay, so maybe when the animals move, you can come back and spend the 20 tickets. Dude, I double dipped on that yesterday. I swear I did. <laughs> or else I wouldn't say that you could do that. All right, here we go. We're gonna start over here and uh, just start talking to our people. Why the heck not? 
All right, I gotta start spending some of my resources here. I've uh, I've gotten to the point where I've got like 205 items that I'm holding on to, so I really have to start using doing some favors. And I'm not gonna pick up these oranges or any of these other fruits simply because I don't have the space for it. I just don't. So here goes Maggie, Maggie the pig. All right, Maggie the pig. Request complete. Maybe in like an hour or something. I have until 6 p.m., so literally two hours from right now to capitalize on the candy canes and the uh, shovel strike quarry. So we'll have to see about that. I don't know how many times a day it offers candy canes, but the fact that it does is a, I guess like a little bit of generosity coming our way from the Animal Crossing dev team. At least that's kind of how I feel. All right, ooh, wow, all right, count it. Count it, I, what are we at, like 33 right now? 33? All right, excellent, good job, Piggy. Piggly Wiggly! <laughs> what about Moo and Oink? Any of you guys remember Moo and Oink? Dude, no one remembers Moo and Oink. I'm just gonna call it right now. Unless you're my age or older and you grew up in Chicago, <laughs> you don't know what Moo and Oink is. Another three candy canes, pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's some good level up. All right, all right, here we go. <laughs> Dude, Moo and Oink. Everyone's gonna jump to YouTube right now and then search Moo and Oink. You're going to, and you're gonna be blown away at how awesome Moo and Oink is. Moo, Moo, Moo and Oink. <laughs> Dude, you guys don't even know. You don't even know. You don't know the joys of Moo and Ike when I was a was, when I was a small child. When I was a small lad, <laughs> not a big child. When I was a small child, <laughs> I would watch a lot of TV. Cause that's what you did when you were a kid in the '90s, man. You just watch TV or play video games or go outside and play. We didn't have things like the internet. <laughs> I'm so dating myself right now. Hey, what do you know? All right, I'm still waiting for someone to say, oh my gosh, I just YouTubed Moo and Oink, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with the two minutes okay. <laughs> that I wasted watching the video commercial. <laughs> I want my two minutes of my life back. All right, here we go. Oh, one candy cane. Look at you, that generosity, you big monkey. All right, here we go. Uh, Paige says, by the way, lots of stuff in my box if you need anything. Shh, everyone will come by and steal it because we're all mutual friends on the chat, right? <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, two candy canes. Hey, he's being pretty generous. We got three candy canes off this monkey. You big gorilla. I just have to really, oh, I don't want to hear a story. That's okay, you can tell me a story anyway. All right, let's do it. Here you go. Give me that big squid. I, I need some more squids. So I need squids, I need pails, I need, uh, I don't know, I, I think I may need coconuts. Oh, another candy, wow, he gave me four candy canes. That's actually above average. I still remember someone gave me like five candy canes at once. All right, so get this monkey out of here. What's up? No, I'm just saying hello. We're done with you, dude. All right, so I don't need anything else in this area. We're done. Uh, so let's go talk to the sheep. All right, so this is a new character. We have yet to see Stella on screen. So we're gonna give Stella a little bit of uh, screen time here. Uh, let me go shake off these because I don't have the inventory space for it just yet. So we're gonna shake it so we don't miss out on the cooldown. And we can swing by and pick those up a little bit later. All right, so you want the olive flounders. All right, hey Stella, nice to meet you. Whoa, Ooh, instant level up. I think we're gonna hit 26 today. We're totally gonna hit level 26. All right, let's get that big. Let's call them the bads, right? They used to be called the bads. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, whoa, dang, our new favorite villager coming on board with a big five candy cane drop. Dang, that's called uh, gotcha luck, right? It's like we're totally summoning stones right now in Fire Emblem. <laughs> it's like, all right, here we go. The uh, the pay to enter is one peach. Let's see, let's see, come on, show me some dust. Let's see some dust happen right now on screen. Okay, 
Oh, dude, I saw some dust happen. Dust kicked up, and what are we gonna get? Oh, dude, come on. I don't have time for a cheesecake. Let's go, let's see some dust. <laughs> and then it's like, if we don't get anything, we got a three star. Dude, oh, awesome, we got a four star. Dude, if we hit a five, a five candy cane bonus, that's the equivalent of pulling a five star. <laughs> In Fire Emblem Heroes. <laughs> All right, so those of you guys who don't play Fire Emblem Heroes on, um, on Android, you guys are missing out on all these jokes and references. You need to do it. All right, here we go. Yeah, we got a lot of money. We got to do something with this money, man. 169 bells, it's it's a, re it's a resource that you don't do anything with in this game. Or not enough, other than, pay rolled, other than pay off your loan and like little transactions here. No, I forget that. Rolled. Rolled. All right, ooh, see, like I need this little fish. See, that's what I need. Someone give me a box full of that little fish. I don't know what the blue and yellow fish is. Is that a mackerel? Is that a horse mackerel? I don't know. All right, you sheep. We'll come back for you. We gotta go make a little visit to Beppe, though. All right, but of course, I do have some stuff. We might as well do market box shoutouts, right? What do I got? Uh, ooh, man, this one is gonna be for the episode. Here we go. This one's gonna be 15K. I got one of these crazy dynastids over here or stags, I don't remember what the heck they're called. Here we go, I'm gonna list it for 15K. Anyone wants it, feel free. You can come and, s and swing by and take it. Uh, we're gonna do one of these. Okay, since I have one extra, and we're gonna come on board with three of these fish. Uh, let's sell some of these f fish here. And if anyone else has 3K that wants to buy the very, very rare, let me tell you, these are like the shiny, like, you know, shiny Pokemon hunting? This is like shiny red snapper. It's not just any red snapper. And you guys get it at the low, low price of a thousand each, right? All right, so what else do I need? I don't have any coconuts. Ah, uh, here you go, one coconut. <laughs> For whoever wants the Abdomination coconut. All right, we're done. Let's go to Beppe. Beppe, I got some money for you, Beppe. And Giovanni and Carlo. I, I got, don't, don't worry, I got you guys. Here you go. Gotta keep you guys in business. All right, how's it going, pal? Uh, we got some, actually, I need to just pay off this loan, right? We titled this thing Loans and Candy Canes, and that's exactly what we're doing. So we're gonna go to more, we're gonna go to Loan, and we're gonna give 1,000 bells on our loan balance, and we're gonna pay it off. I finished paying off my loan. Let's go talk to Giovanni. Hey, Giovanni. <laughs> Congrats, pal, your loan is paid off in full. I need a little more room to stretch your, uh, you need a little more room to stretch your wings, slugger. You wanna go bigger on the main level? Yeah. Ah, uh, you got it, pal, leave everything to us. Pepe, Carlo, get over here. Let me tell you about the aluminum can I picked up. <laughs> oh gosh. I swear if you tell me about the aluminum can one more time. Last but not least, we gotta weld this, this piece together. Don't you think we should do this from the outside, boss? Yeah, how are we gonna get out if we weld it shut? How are we gonna live? <laughs> okay, that's good. That was a good one. Good job, team. All right, so here we go. What's your favorite camper design and why? Comment question of the day, right there. Whoa, your camper is now fit for a king, you're welcome. All right, that better not be 100K. Oh my gosh, it's 100K. Loans, man, loans. All right, Beppe. And Giovanni. All right, wow. Let's look. Let's look at this place. This is, here's my new camper, guys. I don't know if I showed you my camper in a while. We haven't actually looked inside in a while. So this is pretty cool. So I welcome you to my camper. Uh, this is where I like to sit down and uh, I like to watch TV. I like. What do I like watching? I like watching soccer nonstop. Five screens of soccer. That's it. Or maybe four screens of soccer. Come on, dev team, let's go. Give me give me like a, an Easter egg or something. Do I have to do this at like three in the morning like in the other Animal Crossing games? You guys remember that? Like if you, if you watch the TV in Animal Crossing at like three in the morning, like sometimes like aliens come on screen or something like that. I don't remember the details, but it was something cool. Give me, give me something other than watching a loop of four screens of soccer. I get really tired of that. So, <laughs> here is this. All right, let's get off. That's my room. Uh, I actually did get something brand new. Here's my drink. Uh, let's go put this drink over here. 
And I got a new item. Thanks to one of our friends. We got a laptop, baby. Let's place that laptop. And we're gonna put it right over here on my sleek uh, table. So I guess I can put my chair right here. So that's it, done, place item. We're done. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I don't really like how that looks out. I wish I, wish I had a cool uh, side table that I could work on, but hey, we got the laptop. Can I turn the laptop on? Okay, forget it, I'm done. I'm done messing around with this, but hey, that's it. Cool, so we got a snazzy interior, looks great. Let's, uh, let's go upstairs, I'll show you what upstairs looks like. It's pretty fancy. Oh yeah, this is where I, uh, this is where I go to bed. All right guys, I don't really have any posters on the wall, so you're gonna have to forgive me. Oh my gosh, what is, why is it so hard to walk? All right, here we go. Go to bed. Done, that's right. So ladies and gentlemen, this is my little ranch private getaway where uh, when I'm not live streaming, this is where I sleep. All right, so that brings us to the bottom of the hour. Let's uh, <laughs> let's say hello to all the sponsors. Uh, and of course, there are a couple sponsors that I don't have added. We can totally add you right now with the exclusive sponsor only chat, which is pretty fun. It's a cool way of giving you guys some shout outs, cool way of interacting with you guys. And of course, if you're a sponsor, you absolutely get access to it. So it's another one of the perks. now. I really like to push sponsorship because for one, it's a relatively new program on YouTube and YouTube gaming. And for two, it's it's gonna be really big soon. And I know that YouTube's working on a lot of new changes for sponsors. So I wanted to get you guys all on here before they roll out the changes so that you guys can say, oh man, I was part of the original sponsor squad, awesome. So anyway, thanks for coming guys. All right, uh, let's let's uh, let's jump on board. If any of you guys are sponsors that are not on my friends list, now's the time, I can totally get you added and we can do it. Uh, I, I, I'm not gonna be adding every single one of you guys throughout the live stream because I don't wanna interrupt the whole uh, flow. So this is exactly what we're doing. So hey, what's going on guys? Hello, oh, there we go, I was looking for you, Tuffy. Tuffy. All right, Tuffy, hold on, I gotta get out of here. All right, Tuffy, Tuffy, uh, let's go to friends. I'm gonna click on add friends and we're gonna go from there. Add friend, hello. Oh, and Crystal, yeah, I gotta get Crystal added, awesome. And Keklar, right? See, we got a couple people to add, let's do it. All right, and of course, all of you guys at home, you guys can add these people too. Send them some requests. They'll feel very, very, uh, actually, I'm curious about that. Uh, did any of you guys receive a bunch of requests from other uh, Animal Crossing players? Simply because I threw your um, friend code over here on screen. Give me a give me a hands up emoji if that's the case. All right, so here we go. I got Tuffy added. We're gonna add Crystal. Hey, Crystal, what's up? And Keklar. Thank you for the dashes, by the way. <laughs> that's totally easy to read. <laughs> Crystal. All right, so we sent one to Crystal one seventy. We got one one over here uh, for Keklar and six eight three. And anyone else that I miss? You no, know, I think we're good. Okay, so let's say hi. All right, so here we go. You got a Mario shirt? Oh, how did you get the Mario shirt? Dang. All right, hello. Hey, Russell. Hey, Martin. Hey, Anita. Hey, Jennifer. Uh, Russell, Neon Koopa, Matthew, Amethyst, Sonic, Tonic. How'd the kitties do at the vet this morning? You took them, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Thanks for asking. Milo's one pound overweight uh, from last year, which is not good. Um, Gizmo is the same weight, so that's okay. I found out that Gizmo is uh, possibly suffering from dementia. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of crazy things. So look, look, this is great. So by putting their friend codes on screen, a lot of people got some uh, random friend requests. That's great, and I'm sure you guys all added them just so you have more people, so that's super cool. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff. One pound is not good for an overweight cat. <laughs> So Milo, yeah, he, he's a little, he's like three pounds overweight. So we gotta be a little, a little bit careful on how he eats, but it's hard to manage when you have four cats and uh, we do the best we can. So anyway, thanks for asking. I was gonna tell you a story, a cat story <laughs> at the very end of the episode. I don't know, did we hit the like goal? I said what, like 250 likes or something like that? Then I'll tell you it. But anyway, thanks again sponsors for coming out. We're gonna jump on back in. Let's get this momentum happening. And uh, we'll go from there, cool. Let's get these floodgates. All right, so what we did, we got some listings here. We got some friends coming out. Ooh, Penny, the big spender. Hey, thanks Penny. That totally helps out. 
Okay, we got Penny the Big Spender that bought the 15k bug that I randomly caught the other day. That was very cool. So Chelsea on board, awesome. Ashley, thank you for that. Shout out to Chelsea again. Dang, Chelsea Big Spender. And, oh no, no one bought these? All right, that's fine. Don't buy my fish. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna take this. We're gonna receive that. And this was the tour of my camper. I think since we have the money, what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna say, hey, you know what? Uh, since all of you guys have, have been buying my stuff and we got a lot of money for it, I think we're gonna go over to uh, Carlo and Beppe and Giovanni right now and say, you know what? We're ready for the next one. We just got stacks of bells. You know, we've got a bunch of these bell bags and we're not duping them. <laughs> Animal Crossing, hey, anyone wanna dupe with me? Here's my friend code, add me. Right? Was that a thing like two or three years ago? <laughs> not like I made a tutorial video on how to do that or anything. Totally not. All right, expand the interior. All right. Oh, I have to pay the loan. Dang it. So, yeah, I guess since we're not doing anything else with the money, we might as well go over there uh, and pay off the loan, right? All right. I was enjoying having triple digits. Uh, sorry, six figures and bells. All right, let's go talk to Giovanni. Giovanni's right here. Congrats, pal, your loan is paid off in full. Still need more space, eh? You want to supersize that first level, right? Yeah, I guess. It'll be 200. Oh, I swear if he says 200. Don't do it, Pepe. Don't do it. All right, tell me about the aluminum can. Hey, Pepe, oh, yes, yes, yes. I wanted him to tell me the story about the aluminum can for the 100th time. Oh, man, I saw an aluminum can at the river the other day and thought of you. How's your collection of shiny things going, anyway? <laughs> oh, it's going great, boss. Even Carlo's been helping out. He gave me a real nice piece last week. Uh, Pepe, that was a coat hanger. But um. Nice, dude. We got it. We got the story of the aluminum can. Uh, Blamo, you're the highest of rollers with the setups, kid. Uh, start buying more furniture. All right, let's see. We carry, carry. Oh, 150. I could do 150, maybe in the next couple days. That's not bad. Okay, let's take a look at the interior, shall we? <laughs> Bebe. Hey, yo, Bebe. What? This doesn't look any bigger. Well, I guess it is pretty huge. Yeah, yeah, this this is uh, relatively bigger. Uh, it's not bad. That's cool. Uh, we are gonna save it. I gotta add more stuff. I don't have good furniture. I've been really just hoarding up all the Christmas stuff. <laughs> How many of you guys put your Christmas stuff inside your camper? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody did that. Your Christmas stuff is like the stuff that you show off, right? You show off how dedicated you are into Animal Crossing by going to your campsite, right? Let me see, anyone would progress? Oh, sweet, you got some? Yeah, let's go. Oh, that's right, and I gotta put some people back in here. All right, let's put some people back in here because we might as well enjoy them. Here we go. Who wants to come? Who's coming? Uh, we can do um, Jay. We're gonna host JJ. We're gonna host another uh, monkey. Don't I have, oh, Butch is maxed. Uh, I guess, Lily. Yeah, we can do Lily. And Kid Cat. Okay, that's great. We're gonna host him in. We're gonna have him here. We're gonna say hello. <laughs> Chelsea has Christmas stuff in your camper? You really do, really. Okay, so what I was saying is that when people come and visit you, you they come from right over here, right? So then they have to walk through here and then come and say hi to you right over here in this spot, right? So, naturally, they're gonna have to take a peek at how dedicated you are in Animal Crossing by all your show-off wares in this little section. And we do have a new snow globe. See, if you click the snow globe, it actually does snow globey things. Believe it or not, that's cool. It's interactive, awesome. All right, so what are we even doing here? Hello, Filbert. What? I don't need, I, I like lost track of what we're even doing. We're just like on a tangent. <laughs> we're just playing Animal Crossing, we're hanging out. All right, here we go. 
Thank you, Philly McBurtis. Oh man, one candy cane for that? Dude, that's a rare black bass. I don't know, that seems a little, at least you gave me the three um, level up points. I'll, I'll accept that. Eloise, what you got? Let's talk. Oh, get that big plus two, almost at level 10. All these characters are doing pretty well. Jay? I don't know. Jay? Jay's not on board with me yet. He's like, dude, you kicked me to the curb. Um, madman or whatever, train like a madman. Here's Kid Cat. Hey, Kid Cat. That's my favorite. He's a flagship character. He is, a lot of people like him. I would say like three out of 10 people, if you ask them what their favorite villager is, they would say Kid Cat. A good 30%, I wanna say. Um, other than like Isabel, uh, or like Tom Nook, you know, the, the flag, the real flagship characters. I don't know. What do you guys think? Who's the most popular? Let me know in the comments. Who's the, who's the most popular animal? Other than Isabel and KK Slider and Tom Nook, Mr. Rossetti, all those guys. Give me the most popular character. Bob? Maybe Bob with the Bob dance? I don't know. Bunny is pretty flagship. I agree with you on that page. Uh, Bunny is pretty flagship. Goldie, uh, even Fauna. But if you were to say like all of the Animal Crossing people, people who have played the series, like, hey, who's your favorite Animal Crossing villager? Uh, maybe Bob. The Museum Owl? <laughs> you don't even remember Blathers' name? Paige, come on. <laughs> How do I remember Blathers' name? All right, so we got, ooh, yes, this is great. Oh, we got a big pillow, right? This is for our new hopper bunny. It's a round cushion, ooh, sweet. And we got a couple seconds here and we're gonna do the Christmas countdown, the holiday festivist countdown. So we got the new festive bow tree. Right? So since we got the festive bow tree, make sure that you guys jump into here and it is an event challenge. Uh, oh, I thought you get 80 back. Oh, I was, t I was sadly mistaken. You only get 20 of these tickets. What do I need these tickets for? I need more Christmas candy canes. See, right over here, this one. Festive street light, that's what we should have done. And that would have been a lot easier. Dang it, ah, frustrating. All right, not a big deal. We're gonna get it all eventually. Craft a three ball snowman. When I first read this, when I first popped up, I'm like, what do you mean? I gotta craft three times the ball snowman, like, and then I went over here, I instantly went, okay, maps, oh no, sorry, I went crafting, I went this, and then I looked at the ball snowman, I'm like, wait a second, hold on, hold on, you want me to craft three of these things, and they're 300 a piece? I almost threw my phone against the wall. I'm like, no way, I'm gonna get 900 candy canes. I'm like, oh, wait a second, it's called the three dash ball snowman. I only need one of them. <laughs> Tell me I'm not the only one that that happened to. Like when you're just reading really quick and you're like, oh my gosh, three of them. Please raise your hand. At least give me a pity so I don't feel like a fool who just quickly reads things and just like doesn't do stuff. All right, hey, great, give me these. I will take the leaf tickets. Go for it. Tell me I'm not the only one that thought that. Come here. Shovel strike quarry. Dude, next hour, I'm telling you. What happened? How was I able to do it yesterday? All right, uh, what do we got? What do we got today? Um, let's see, hmm, what are we even doing? I guess, hmm, I talked to you already. You're all done. Sheep, I need some of these fish. Who's got these fish for me? Any of these guys need anything? No, we're set with that. Pig doesn't need anything. We're kind of at the standstill. I think I uh, shopped for everything today. I think I did that a little bit earlier. You can shop multiple times a day. They always change out their wares. Yeah, I bought everything from LaBelle. This is actually a rare site. You can see LaBelle here. LaBelle. That's the, uh, yeah, she was introduced in what generation? Wild World? No, not a World. Uh, what was that? New Leaf? She was in New Leaf as the introduced uh, third sister or cousin or whatever she is. I don't remember, but she's new. Wasn't she? No. Where was she from? I don't honestly remember. Happy Home Designer? I don't remember. Someone tell me. And I know all the hardcore Animal Crossing fans in the comments of the next video are gonna be like, how do you not know, dog? Oh, sweet, what is that? Oh, gimme that bug. Done. 
Horned Dynastid. Was that the one for the challenges today? Timed goals. Collect three. You, no, not collect. It's catch. This is very wrong wording, and I want compensation. <laughs> I want compensation bells, materials, and resources for it. This wording is very confusing. I want compensation. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. I'm not going to be one of those people. No, but seriously, it shouldn't be get three of them. It should be catch three of them. Because getting three of them, I can go in someone's market box and buy them, and therefore getting them, and it doesn't count towards this requisite. So it needs to be catch. And I'm not nitpicking it. I'm just, you have to do it that way. Otherwise, you're fooling people. Anyway, I digress. So Animal Crossing dev team, I know you guys are watching. I know you guys are here. <laughs> Just a tweak. All right, when the next verbiage comes out, you write minor text fixes. Done. And then we all get it, right? Right, come on now. That's what we're here for. We're here to provide the feedback. And you guys can actually go into customer service and uh, you know, give that feedback. Just change the verbiage. All right, let's do this. Give me these coconuts. I'm, what am I here for? Why did I even go here? There's no one here besides this butterfly and I. Give me that. Give me more. I need more stuff. Hey, sweet. Christina buying the fish. Thanks, Christina. And who do we have? Sakura. All right, so I need some, I need some stuff. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, I've got like 40 spots open right now. Let's go shopping, shall we? Where are we gonna go shopping? Let's take a look. Who's got some stuff in their market box that I'm gonna swing on by and purchase? All right, let's take a look. Friends, Crystal 170, what you got for me? Uh, I don't need that unfortunately, but hey, thank you. Uh, another crystal, wow, we got multiple crystals here. Uh, I don't need any of those. You must lure me in with some common goods. Uh, we're gonna lend a- oh my gosh, Paige, you're speaking my language. I'm coming right over. <laughs> Paige! Paige, come back! Oh, wow! You got a merry-go-round. Is that the cute set? Is that the cute level three? Look- ooh, does this makeup box close? Whoa, cool! Interactive makeup box. Oh man, Paige, what the heck. I wish you can see what level Paige is at, right? Like, you can see, oh hey, I'm Paige, I'm level 50. <laughs> Cause I can only assume that you're like that high. Uh, what do we need? Ooh, I needed this. Dude, shopping spree, I'm probably gonna buy all this stuff. I don't need green fish. Uh, I need this, I don't know what fish that is, but I'll take them all. And I need these little babies. And red snappers. Let's get to snappers. Oh man, let's go money. Yeah. That money, oh, no, that's not, <laughs> let's do, I don't need those either. No, yeah, this is good. Actually, do any of those yellow perch? Maybe. Hey Paige, thanks. Thanks for the shopping spree. Is that the, oh, I know that holiday, that alien sweater, I know it. <laughs> Paige has the alien space invader sweater, says Sonic Tonic. Yeah, you do, did you do that on purpose? You like that space invader? Cause it is also festive, so that could work. All right. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Paige. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that's all. That, that's really fun. All right. That was good. I needed those resources. Uh, a little. Oh, is this a horn dynasty? What? Give me that. I honestly didn't think I'd be able to do this. Like, honestly, I said, dude, you want me to catch three of the rare items for six preserves? You must be out of your mind. But I'll take it, that's actually really cool. We're gonna do it, and you know what? You know what we're gonna do right off the bat? I'm gonna give that to you guys. Uh, and you can have it. For the low, low price, you can have two of them. For the low, low price of 2K bells, you can come on board and you can have your very own horned dynasty. It's a shiny horned dynasty. Yep, you saw it here, I caught it. <laughs> Let's go shopping. All right, who else? Crystal, Matthew. Matthew's got nothing in his boxes. I knew that upon clicking it. Hey, Sakura's always helping out. Let's jump on board. Let's go visit Sakura. All right, Sakura, we got another 10 minutes left of the episode. What do you guys want to do? I could just visit some more people and say hello. Ooh, look at that little circus tent you got there. That's pretty cool. Oh, and you got some pizza everyone's eating? Oh, how's that seven hour pizza taste? It's good. Oh, nice. Hey, Sakura, have some kudos. And I'm not talking about the candy game. Or candy canes, or what is that, the name of the kudos? Kudos is a candy bar, right? 
Here we go, Sakura, market box. And you got something. Ooh, oh, I don't have this yellow fish. This $8,000 yellow fish? I wanna buy this baby goldfish. Like, oh, those are pale chubs, right? Oh, 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 oh man, you're speaking my language, Sakura. Oh man, I'm buying all this stuff. Yes, yes. Give me these bugs. And the 15, ooh, I kinda wanna buy that fish. But then at the same time, like, I don't really wanna buy one of the super rare fish unless I fished it up myself. You know what I mean? Until I get to that point. I'll, trust me, a little bit later on when I get really impatient and I want to have one of everything in my uh, inventory, I will totally come by and just like pick up your tuna, I'll pick up your football fish, your rainbow trout, whatever it is, I'll go buy them once, we'll do it towards the end. Monarch butterfly, I just wanna collect one of every item. All right, so uh, let's do this. Here we go, oh, market box, they're already gone. Dang, who did that? You, Penny, thanks. Spent a pretty penny on some bugs. All right, here we go, we're totally flipping these guys. Uh, you guys can feel free to come on board and purchase them, courtesy of Sakura. Thanks, Sakura, we're gonna do three at a time. Cause it's really fun, why not? And you guys can totally flip them too, right? Well, not really flip them, but you can sell them or throw them back into the ocean, whatever you guys wanna do. All right, so we're only gonna do three of these uh, and then I'll do maybe a bug. You guys want, oh, who's a big spender on some bugs? And then 150,000 bucks. That's what we have to make. Um, yeah, we have to make that money quick. We have to make that money because I wanna be able to put the, uh, the next loan up, you know what I mean? So here we go, we're gonna visit some more people. Whoever's on the top of my list, hey Crystal, here you go. And I need some uncommon stuff. Hook me up with the uncommons. Russell, Ayo Russell, you got some squids for me, bro? I know you do. I know, I see you in the comments, man. What's up, Russ? All right, Russell. Lynette also has some stuff asking me to come on over. Don't worry, I'll visit all you guys in due time. You got some sunglasses, huh? Oh, that's pretty cool. Otherwise, you'd look like me. All uh, right, Russell, give me, ooh, I like tuna. I do like tuna. I do like the price of those bugs. I'm gonna buy these little things. I probably have way too many. And uh, I guess I'm gonna buy these. And I guess I'm buying these. And yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. <laughs> See, like I wanna be able to, I don't know why this is not a thing. I wanna be able to jump into my inventory when I'm in someone else's town. Like, why did you eliminate that? Is that too much data to send through the servers or what? Like, I don't know how much I have. I don't, I, I wanna find out. I can't click on my inventory unless I go and leave. And then, then look at my inventory and say, oh, I could have used that. All right, so now I gotta click on this, scroll into there, scroll halfway down my friends list. And like, good luck if, <laughs> here's another one of the things that I noticed too. Like when you're looking at the friends list, like good luck. If you have like a full friends list with like all these people, all these cool people over here, and you decide to go visit, I don't know, this person in the middle here, Koopa, right? You de decide to visit him or lend him a hand. Whenever you exit out of here, it brings you straight back to the top. Like what's the point of that? What, now I gotta scroll back and see exactly where he's at? Nah, man. All right, it's just quality of life stuff. So quality of life stuff, just little fixes. Trust me, I cannot wait until they do an update on this game. They're gonna see all the feedback that a lot of the people on the community have given, especially uh, all the people on board uh, in the Reddit. I know the Reddit community does a lot of good quality of life posts. Um, you know, r slash Animal Crossing, r slash uh, AC Pocket Camp. You know, all those sites do a lot of data collection from the uh, from the audience. Oh, dude, I need peaches. Or sorry, I need pears. Pears are pretty rare for me, so I'm gonna go buy these pears. All right, Michael, what's up, dude? What do you got? Oh, nice black black and white van, heck yeah. Where are the Christmas stuff at, dude? Is it inside your camper? What are you doing? All right, well, I do see that you got a pretty cool sweater on, so I'll give that to you. What you got? What you got in that box? Give me these, I'll take them. Hands oh, see, like, come on. What, <laughs> no. I gotta come back to Michael now? Like the exact same thing that I was just talking about. Didn't realize that my inventory was full. You know, I would also like an indicator on screen. Okay, so you have you have this items right over here, right? You have this. I want a little dialogue of how many items are in your pocket at any given time. Give me 
Two, 205 out of 205. How hard would it be to tell me how many items I have at once without actually just going into items, clicking over here? Just save me a couple key presses, right? I don't know. Am I being nitpicky? No, not necessarily. It's just quality of life stuff. So I got to list some stuff. And it looks like everyone just bought them all. You guys just ate them up. Snow Biju. <laughs> Biju. I once met a man named Biju, believe it or not. Snow Biju. That's cool. And everyone else. Michael, Sakura, all you guys. Great. I just got to really do this. Uh, Zeta says, 20 bucks says the first update becomes just minor bugs fixed. Maybe. And if they talk about minor bugs fixed, I'm really hoping that they're talking about the prices and rarity of these bugs. Like, I want the prices to go up. Or do something with them, you know what I mean? Like this jewel beetle, it shouldn't be worth 10 bucks if you sell it raw, you know? It's like, come on. That's silly. It just needs a major overhaul. Like, I think so. Like, the whole economy needs a major overhaul. We need to be able to spend bells in order to buy uh, materials, buy res- No, not resources. Materials. You don't ever need to buy resources. I don't need to- Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. There's, there's a lot of things that can be improved in order to make the game even better. Like, trust me, I love the game. We're playing this game eight days straight, and we're going to be playing it 30 days straight, so I think we all have every right to give the feedback. And I like doing that. It's cool. So here we go. I'm just totally flipping these uh, fish here. And of course, we'll give a uh, we'll give a coconut for good measure. There you go. All right. So, let's go let's go see if uh, Michael's still around. And that was one of the things too. It's like, "Oh, I just got distracted." But Michael, Michael, Michael. I want the pears. Michael, Michael, Michael. Michael. Hey, here we go. Let's visit Michael. All right, let's take a look. We got a couple more minutes left of the episode. Uh, I am going to do it. And uh, what we'll also do is we'll tell you the joke of where does Bunny, what's her favorite vacation destination? Oh, dude, hook it up. You got more pears? I'll take them. Uh, and you got this bug? Yeah, I'll take that. I can flip that. Here you go. I'll take this bug too. And peaches? You know what? Let's just do it. I'm just gonna sell them out. He's gonna like open up his market box and like see all my faces. He's gonna be like, oh my gosh, what the heck? Huh. Picking up what I'm putting down, huh? All right, we're gonna go to a couple more people and then call it an episode after I catch this jewel beetle. Uh, a lot of you guys are thinking about what the answer is and no, I'm not changing what the answer is. I, oh, 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 oh. Favorite vacation destination. Think about it. Vacation. Would you really want to go on a vacation to Tennessee? No offense to all of you guys that live in Tennessee. Eh, but when you think about a vacation, you think about a tropical island vacation, right? Kind of dropping hints. <laughs> Her favorite vacation destination. Uh, I'm going to receive an email from uh, the Tennessee... Uh, Bureau of Tourism saying, hey, Abdallah, I didn't appreciate what you said about Tennessee. And uh, we have many, very many <laughs> tourism spots. <laughs> Get over here. No, that's not what I mean, Tennesseans. <laughs> All right, here we go. Give me one more on this little sheep so we can level up a little bit more before we call it an episode. Here you go. I got a lot more fish. I like the common stuff. So if you guys have common stuff in your boxes, let me know. And I might go visit you. Santa might visit you. Oh, look at that. One extra candy cane. So how many candy canes did we get in today's episode? Who was counting? I don't know if I necessarily put someone in charge. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Okay, uh, I think we're good. Visit one more person. Call it a day. All right, who are we visiting? Friends list, friends list. Who's on it? Page, page, page. Let's go to, uh, wait, did I give everyone their shovel strikes? No, I didn't. Here you go. Make sure you, oh, oh squids. Oh, dude, I need squids. Sorry, man. <laughs> I was going to go to someone, but I need some squids. Sonic Tonic says, I have squids, pears, and peaches. 
So like all of you guys at home are gonna be like filling up your first four boxes with squids, pears, peaches. <laughs> Just so you know what I want. And like really, really inexpensive um, red snappers too. I, I don't know why I bought those coconuts, but hey, you know what, we'll do it. And give me these fish, I don't even know what they're called. I don't care, they're the, com uh, they're the common ones. All right. Oh yeah, that's right. It is now a change of time. And that is a great way of letting me know that we're just about at the end of the episode. So now we got the very cool purplish pink water and I hear that you may or may not be able to catch some rare fish at this time of day. I don't know, I haven't really spent so much time uh, trying. And then how do you differentiate it from RNG? It's like, unless someone's looking at the rip data, uh, there's no way, and hey, there's a squid. Oh, come on, what the heck? No, I guess I don't need this seashell. No, I guess I don't need this one orange. Let me sell it for 10 cents. I don't know, man. You should be able to sell it for way more than that. Like 10 cents seems like a rip off. Like you just, you might as well throw it away at that point. You might as well throw it away. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, Santa bids you adieu. <laughs> Santa. It's actually called Santa. Well, I guess that's not really that offensive politically. You know what I mean? <laughs> they call it the holiday tree. They call it like holiday this, holiday event, but yet they still call it Santa. I guess Santa's okay, right? It's just Santa. It's, it's, it's a cosplay of Santa. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna be done with today's episode. Thank you guys so much for coming. We had another great time. Day eight has been doing really fun. Uh, I had a great time today, and uh, again, shout out to all of you guys that came on board. Shout out to my friends over at Google Play for providing the awesome gift card giveaway that we're gonna be doing at the very end of the series. It's gonna be so much fun. Shout out to all these sponsors that came on board. You guys are amazing. You guys get access to your very awesome um, Google Play gift card that's only for you guys, that's right. We've divvied up the five gift cards that Google Play has given. So one of them is gonna to be to all brand new sponsors. One of them is gonna to be to all sponsors in general, all 238 of you guys on screen over there. Uh, also then the other three, one of them is gonna be the comment question of the day. We're gonna randomly choose one of the videos and choose a comment. And then two of them are for the giveaway site. So the giveaway site, link in the description below. So yeah, shout out to my friends over at the Google Play Guild. And they're really gonna give you guys a physical gift card. It's awesome. And uh, yeah, it's the newly designed look. Pretty sleek, I like it. So yeah, let's say hi. Let's say hi to you guys. Let's chat for the last couple minutes and let's go from there. Bunny joke and cat story. All right, all right. So the joke is Bunny. What is Bunny's favorite tour vacation destination? Not tourist destination. Her favorite, all right, you guys can do Abdallah laugh. You can gear up the Abdallah laugh emoji, right? Okay, so there's the Abdallah laugh emoji. Get ready for this. Here's the punchline. Uh, I just gotta build it up. I gotta build it up. So her favorite, Bunny, her favorite vacation destination is Tahiti. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tahiti because her catchphrase is tee hee. Yes. Slow clap. That wasn't as good as Salt Lake City. I know, I gotta get, I gotta rework the jokes. Ha, ha. <laughs> that was kind of funny, right? Yes, yes, gear up the Abdallah laugh emojis. Uh, it's very good. Get Gizmo for 200 likes? Yeah, okay, go ahead. I dare you. Pump out 50 likes. Go for it. I'll go get Gizmo. <laughs> uh, Loving Karima says, uh, my animals keep being stingy with the candy canes. I know, right? Why isn't there a guaranteed one to five, right? Come on. How hard is that to program? Anyway, let's jump into the sponsor only chat. Um, we're gonna do it. We're gonna totally do it. <laughs> so we like doing sponsor only chat, just hanging out, saying hello to you guys. And uh, your sponsorship really means a lot to me. So thanks for all of you guys that are long-term sponsors. Not just the one time of one month and just going from there, but you guys have been long-term for multiple months and that means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much for your continued support every month, day in, day out. You guys are great. Oh, cat story. Uh, Christina already knows the cat story. And how about I give you the abridged version? All right, so Jess and I, uh, we woke up uh, yesterday and we, you know, we come downstairs. Jess wakes up earlier because she has to go to work and uh, we come down 
And we're looking around and Jess is like, oh, what is that on the floor? I'm like, ah, cats probably threw up. If you own a cat, you know that cats like throw up hairballs and they throw up and whatnot. So we looked and uh, it definitely was not a throw up. It was, it was a part of a mouse. Dun, dun, dun. That's the disgusting story. That's the abridged version. I won't go into the details, but long story short, one of our four cats caught a mouse and there was a little mouse right there. And it was funny because it was right next to Jess's chair where she sits at, at the kitchen every single day. So I was thinking that it was Rocco because Rocco is a mama's boy. Rocco probably caught a mouse in the middle of the night and ate it <laughs> and then did something. So yeah, that's what happened. Yep, good Rocco. But we have no proof. We have no proof. And of course the more gruesome details I've only disclosed that information to a small select few. It is a very, very crazy story. And I trust me, I wanted to tell all you guys, like with all the details, but I'm like, no, let's keep it family friendly. So yeah, Rocco caught a mouse, pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for coming. Uh, I didn't even get to say hi to everyone while I was here. Hey Zeta, hey Paige. Uh, what's going on, Chelsea? Cool, picked up Animal Crossing, was having fun in the uh, campground, cool. Uh, I already told you the cat story. We just did that right now. Can you get into your own market box while being in a friend's camp? No, you can't. You can, you can get in your, oh, you can. Wait, I'm, I have to look at that. Well, if Orchid says so, I'll believe anything that she says. Cause she's like the best at the game. You, got, <laughs> you have like all the Christmas stuff I saw in your camp. You can get into your own market box while being at a friend's camp. I will have to look into that. Uh, I still have some common stuff in my market boxes. Shining Golden, Hunter, I will take a look a little bit later. Thanks for adding me. Thanks for being a sponsor, Tuffy. I wanna say I appreciate the Xenoblade videos. I wasn't sure if I was really interested, had doubts, but watching you play it in detail for two and a half hours made me want it. I like what I see so far. That is the comment of the day. That makes me so happy. The series isn't getting as many views and support as I wanted it to. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to support it. Um, it's really up to you guys. Like that's what I do on YouTube. Like when you think about it, like I'm a variety channel. I'll play everything. I'm playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp for 30 days because one, I love Animal Crossing. Two, we got a pretty cool sponsorship from Google Play. And three, it's just, it's awesome to do this. Although the views aren't as great as like Yo-Kai Watch or Pokemon, like with my audience support. So I kind of shoot myself in the foot with that. But it's really all you guys. If you guys want these videos to keep on happening with whatever genre or video that I do, make sure you guys support it by sharing it, liking it, and uh, leaving a comment on it. That really helps out. More than you know, more than you know. So yeah, thank you for that. Uh, great, here we go. Uh, they're just trying to help you hunt. That's right, see? Uh, woke up, came down the morning a few months ago to a dead mouse because of her cat. She just left it there, huh, <laughs> Keckler? <laughs> it happens, man, it happens. No, but seriously, all of you guys that are supporting any of my content, if you guys come here, it's like sometimes you guys come here for one video series, like, oh, dude, I came here for Mario Odyssey, but I stayed for Abdallah. That's what I really want to achieve. Oh, I came here for Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, but I stayed for Abdallah. That's what I want. And if that's cool for you guys, then awesome, welcome to it. If not, and you only like me for Animal Crossing, then okay, cool, I guess I, I like you too, right? <laughs> hey, brand new sponsor, you just missed the cutoff, but that's great, we'll, we'll do a little Bob dance to celebrate. Welcome Shy Guy 198 sponsor, clutch sponsor too, that was really cool. All right, Shy Guy 198 I'll get a head start while Bob comes in fashionably late. Hey, Bob, Shy Guy 198 thanks man. All right, let me do this. Okay, cool. Sponsor hype, you get the full Bob dance. You get your, uh, oh, I messed that up, didn't I? You get your name, Shy Guy 198 Don't look at my handwriting. <laughs> uh, we're gonna put that one there, we're gonna put that one there. And the one that doesn't belong, the Smash Bros series villager, gets kicked out and here we go. Shy Guy 198 on board, excellent. Thank you so much for coming on board as a sponsor. Sponsor hype, welcome to it. And uh, let's head back. Yeah, that's really cool, man. That's really cool, all right. All right, so thanks for coming. Uh, I can't remember when you're watching sometime uh, in the beginning of the year. See, that's great, thank you. And see, now you've even, uh, you've made your active subscriber status even more elevated by becoming a sponsor. And that's so cool. We got way cool sponsor things that, that's gonna be happening on not only YouTube Gaming, but on YouTube Main. And I can't really talk about it because I'm part of the closed beta. But let me tell you, there's gonna be some really, really cool surprises that I want you guys to look forward to. 
Uh, don't look at my writing. Yeah, that's right. Don't look at my files. I try to be here when I can. Love all of the videos. Thank you, Paige. Uh, I found myself loving Yokai Watch from watching the channel. See, that's that's it. Tara, that's what I'm talking about. Like, you come on board, you're like, oh, what's Abdallah playing today? Oh, cool. I've never heard of Yokai Watch. Oh, is that that Pokemon game? Oh, cool. I'm going to watch it. And Abdallah is so passionate about it. So obviously, there's something good about it. So let's enjoy it. So, same thing about Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. It's like, Hey, you know, it's we're, we're trying to support Nintendo Mobile and all of their endeavors, right? We want Nintendo Mobile to be as successful as it can. So we're giving feedback, we're playing the game for 30 days, we're helping promote all this fun stuff. It's gonna be great. So thanks for coming. All right, if a sponsor wins that card, they get 10 months of sponsorship uh, if they choose that. Yeah, that's right, you could. You get sponsorship with a Google Play gift card. It's gonna be fun. All right, see, Mr. Uh, Feyoush Gaming says, I came for Yokai Watch and stayed for you. See, that's awesome. I love that, man. I love that. Got you in a Fire Emblem? Cool. See, that's the whole thing. It's like that. It, if I see that one of you guys have been convinced to play a game that I'm playing or purchase a game that you never even thought you'd purchase simply because you watched a couple of my videos, then my job is done. That's awesome. That's very awesome. Because you know what? It's not just me. Oh yeah, YouTube's my job. Oh yeah, um, you know, Nintendo sends me stuff. Or oh yeah, you know, Google Play is, you know, sponsoring a lot of It's not just that. It's just now when you play the game, you say, oh yeah, I got into this game because of Abdallah. Or I saw Abdallah playing it, so now I want to play it too. And that is more than enough for me. That's so cool. <laughs> That's really cool. So anyway, thanks guys. I came for New Leaf, dude. Uki. Ookie cookie? No way, man. That's crazy. New Leaf was a long time ago. That's uh, when I was first starting off YouTube. It was very fun. It was like a, what, 50 part episode series? Oh man, it was crazy. What was it, how many episodes did I have of Animal Crossing New Leaf? I think the playlist is in the description. You guys can click on that. If it's like 50, then that's crazy. I did that like over the span of like months. But like now I'll bust out 50 episodes in like a week of Pokemon. <laughs> like, right? What? How does that even work? Uh, I'm sorry, Uki Cookie, right? I, I didn't mean to butcher your name. Dang it. <laughs> or maybe it's Uki Cookie. All right, well, phonetically spell out your name and I'll say it. See, Tomodachi Life, man. I don't know, my nose is really itchy right now. But anyway, I think that's gonna be it. I think that's gonna be it for the live stream. Thanks so much for coming. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Same time, same place. We'll be here for day nine which is gonna be exciting. I don't know, maybe I'll jump into my market boxes and put some more fish out there so that we can complete the camper together. Because, you know, although I feel that we all have our own pocket camps, I think this pocket camp that we're doing together in mine over here really belongs to all of us because we're all kind of pitching in with bells and this and that and information and tips and tricks and stuff like that. So the camp belongs to all of us. So you guys are welcome at any time. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, we got loads more uh, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp happening. Make sure that you guys uh, say thanks to our friends over at Google Play for uh, sponsoring the very awesome giveaway by following them on Twitter. At Google Play really helps out. Yeah, go check them out. They're really fun. And yeah, I want you guys to enter the giveaway in all the ways that we've talked about before. Shout outs to my friends over at the uh, Google Play Guild. Shout outs to the moderators for helping out. Shout outs to the sponsors and every single one of you guys that watched the video. New, uh, our newest video on my channel there, playlist here, recommendations, social media. We'll see you guys at the lounge uh, in case you guys want to. I'll type that over here, exclamation mark, lounge. Yeah, you guys can go swing out over there. It's one of the new YouTube programs that we're doing. YouTube lounge happening there. Yeah, and of course, you can join the Discord and uh, exchange friend codes. Pretty fun. So that's it. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Don't forget to smash the like button on the way out. We'll see you later. Take care.